Well, today I'm going to try and fit this Puig uh, windshield. Today, just got to undo all this stuff. I think I'm pretty sure this is going to end up getting in the way, so I'll have to move that as well. See how it goes anyway. Um, yeah, I'll just have to give you updates because I can't hold my phone at the same time as I'm doing this. So, uh, yeah, see you in a few seconds. Alright, so you have to undo the bracket from the windscreen, which is actually pretty simple. It's just got these four little caps that cover the outside um, screws. And they just screw off and they have a little nylon nut underneath them. Um, I thought at first I was going to have problems holding onto this stuff here, but thankfully it is just sort of like a pressed in nut insert if it will focus on it. So you don't actually have to worry about anything falling off from the back of it. So that makes life very easy. I'll move on to the next step, which is actually undoing the uh, handlebar mounts. So got it in place. Got to make sure there's two notches. Where is it? One there and one on the other side. You got to try and get them as close as possible. Usually with the uh, the line in between the brackets is the easiest sort of place to look at it. And now that I've got them in, I've loctited these in, blue loctite, so it, it can still be undone. And I've just marked them to make sure that the bolts don't move. I had to use a piece of rope that was hooked up up here to stop my uh, handlebars from falling forward. Once I undid those two uh, brackets there, which you'll have to do if you're by yourself, jimmy up something to stop them moving around because otherwise you need too many hands. You're going to end up needing to be Goro off of freaking uh, Mortal Kombat or something like that. And there it is. All done and dusted. Yeah, I went with this one because you had the option to um, go from like a more of a sleek look to then turn it up to more of a tourer. But this, because I prefer the bike without any screen whatsoever, this is just going to be on whenever I have long distance travel to do. So I've got to travel long distance this weekend, so I figured I'd get a head start, get a put on there while I've got motivation to do so. Not too bad. And I went with a clear screen instead of a tinted because when you're filming with cameras, tinted wind screens make it very difficult to see out the front of the bike, especially if you, I learned that with the ZX when I had the uh, double bubble zero gravity windscreen on it. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite an easy setup. It takes 10 minutes if you're doing things slowly like I am. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy, done. I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. Yeah.